Alright. What's going on? And welcome back, folks. Oh, hey. We wow. got a cutscene. We got a cutscene. <gasps> welcome back to Capture Defense Force. This is a cutscene. Sorry. Is she hurt? Yeah. Yeah, she's got shot by her brother. It's like a Spanish uh, drama. <laughs> Soap opera. Maria. Maria. The zombies are breaking into the, the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Call Antonio Banderas. <laughs> For no reason, just just call him. I want to say hi, dude. If there was a zombie apocalypse, I would want Antonio Banderas in my corner. I want Antonio Ant or Machete, 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 or Machete, or whatever. I want Machete. Yeah, Danny or Trejo. <laughs> Antonio Banderas on my side for any reason whatsoever. Dude, dude, we're missing the cutscene. What's his ultimate goal? Good questions. <laughs> of course not. We haven't reached the end of the cases. <laughs> yeah, there's still like eight cases left. You can't be at the end of this. Is that a high Hitler? <laughs> I think he's just like, he's just like, fine. Just throwing his hands up in the air. Hey, <laughs> Kendall, you made it! Nice tuxedo. Right? Right? Oh, he's tuxedo mask. He's tuxedo shotgun! Ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> when a hobo with a shotgun wins the lottery, he becomes tuxedo, sh <laughs> tuxedo shotgun. I've never seen hobo with a shotgun. Is Neither it, have I. Is it just garbage? Cause I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I've heard that this is like just garbage. one of those garbage movies that they make to make... To fill up that... that Genre of garbage movies. <laughs> There's a crowd. Am I insulting someone by calling these movies garbage movies? We, we apologize to the garbage movie loving community. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We, we don't, don't intend to insult your garbage <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> We're just assholes. <laughs> no, no, dude. If B grade movies are your kind of movie, have at her. The room. Hilarious. Great time. The Room? Yeah. Uh, I quote that from time to time, even though I've never actually seen it. Oh, you haven't? I've seen the it's terrible. Nostalgia Critic uh, episode of it. Oh, that's enough. It's that's enough, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. That guy with the glasses. I I, I, I used to really love his stuff. What? Not saying anything about his new stuff, because I just haven't watched any of it lately. Well, it's because we're too busy making our own YouTube stardom. Right. The guy with the glasses. That used to be the night when when I was going through like high school, college. Oh, wow. I don't know. When was? Anyways, I don't remember. I only started watching Nostalgia Critic like a year ago. So. Oh really? Oh no, I used to watch it years and years ago. It used to be like the, the that guy with the glasses network, right? Yeah, yeah. And he had all these different review people, and then every year you'd have this epic like. Uh, Collection, what, what's it called? Everyone gets together. Woo. Oh yeah, just sawing off heads of zombies. Like collaboration. Con yeah, collab with all of his other people, and they would do like a movie. Oh, okay. And then one of them, he was dressed up as a uh, uh, Baron, or whatever his name is from Street Fighter. Oh, Bison. 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 Yeah. Baron. M Bison. M Bison. I forget what the M stands for, but it was something really stupid. Last I knew. I think. I don't know. Capcom's never been really good with naming conventions. Man? Yeah, Man Bison, that's man it. Man Bison. Yeah. No, it's probably something basic like Master or Mister. Money. So we're, we're Santa Cabeza. Marty so Bison. Sorry. Marty what? Bison. <laughs> it's me all along. <laughs> Who was the actor that played him in the live action again? Uh, didn't he die? Yeah, he died. He was, he was like, oh, oh my god! Was, like Street Fighter was one of his last movies. And his family like credit Street Fighter for you know being his last straw and dying. <laughs> so I, for some reason, I know a lot about this. Um, <laughs> Except you can't remember his name. Oh, I. I he, he was also in the Adams Family as Gomez. Was he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anything. Okay, so I don't know anything about him. I just know Good. the story about Street Fighter. Okay, what's the story about Street Fighter? Tell so us. he he had cancer, 
and was going through chemo or something oh. to, to treat it. And um, for the movie, they were like, oh, yeah, but we want him to do all these fight scenes. And he couldn't because he fucking... He was recovering from cancer. He had just, like, had chemo and was bleeding out of the face or whatever terrible things. And um, so during filming, some of the fight choreography was very rough. And he would, like, repeatedly have to keep going back to the hospital over injuries from filming. Raul Julia. Raul Julia. Yeah. yeah, that's his name. That's gotta suck though. Yeah. Wow. And uh, so he went to the ho- like that's. And there's a reason why all he ever does is just breaks people's necks because that's the only thing he could really physically do for the choreography. Mmm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, he died the same year that the Street Fighter movie came out. So, Street Fighter killed Raul. Yeah. In in interviews, you'll you'll. You can see it's like his family saying, "Yeah, Street Fighter's the reason he died. Oof, it's what killed him. Oof, it's rough. Yeah, I came out back here too early. All right, what does M in Bison in M Bison stand for? What's the Bison used to be Balrog? Oh, right." Right. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the naming conventions got switched around between all the bosses in Street Fighter 2. Right. Um, so, according to this quick Google search, uh, Bison was Balrog, the boxing one, and still is in Japan. But a boxer named uh, a boxer named Mike M. Tyson sounds a lot like M. Bison, so they changed it to Balrog, who in Japan is Vega. So Balrog is Vega. And Vega is really ambice. Um, that's, a, that's a terrible description, but yeah. So originally he was supposed to be like uh, an homage to Mike Tyson, I guess, or something. So he was supposed to be an homage to him, but then it was too close, so they had to undo the yeah, cause whole pe- thing. People get butt hurt over that kind of thing. That's why like Donkey Kong uh, got. So it got a little bit of water, hot water, because Donkey Kong is supposed to be a clear ripoff of King Kong. King Kong, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and actually, Donkey Kong, fun fact, was a typo. <clears throat> he was supposed to be Monkey Kong, was supposed to be his name. Don- Monkey Kong. It was supposed to be an M, but, uh, but I think something got like translated wrong, and it just ended up being a D or so, something. So wait, so Donkey Kong is like bad English? Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Things translate poorly from Japan sometimes, especially in the 80s. <laughs> well, I mean, I wow. That's so like well something that culturally like it's it it's always funny when you find out like something that's super culturally like um uh thank you. Thank you. I am dying here. That heat, though. That heat. <laughs> Ex- <laughs> Thank you, game. Isabella. Isabella Keys. Oh. Well, Isabella, are you Spanish? You must be related. Oh, wow, that worked out. This is your fault. Oh, that's me. There was no drug trade in Santa Fe. Just an American research facility. Oh, they were doing research oh. on some oh. insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. Oh! If you don't believe I have two jars of those. Wow, her shot wound like cleaned up real well. Yeah. The truth. <gasps> the facility. So the zombies were made by parasites? Oh god! <laughs> the old man's off his meds! <laughs> no shit! <laughs> <laughs> I like that it slowed down for like <laughs> half a second. Yeah. For dramatic emphasis. 
Uh, I have expected a sh no 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 I was expecting a kapow. Oh, Batman. Oh, Batman yeah. on a monopia. Nothing beats it. Okay, that's going great. Yep. Let's uh Let's all just stand there and watch. Dr. Barnaby's got problems. Yeah. I guess. The first self-aware zombie. <laughs> you turned the zombie because you got that. You because you're evil. I think. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? Just answer me. Don't look at me. With hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. <laughs> Alright, so according to Wikipedia, my uh, Monkey Kong theory was incorrect. Oh? Apparently, so says Wikipedia, Miyamoto used Donkey to convey stubborn in English. Oh. The name Donkey Kong was intended to convey stubborn ape to the American audience. Huh. Okay. When he suggested this name to Nintendo of America, he was laughed at, but the name stuck. Hmm. Yeah. And it became a cultural icon, so... <laughs> Take that, all the people that laughed at him. Right? Hey, man, haters gonna hate. Okay. So the government's now in the zombie making business. <laughs> oh. The story about the drug trade was a cover up. What do you know? You're the one giving him the information. <laughs> zombie flesh does not taste good. <laughs> Have you played Minecraft? Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> Any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? Oh, the message of the story: Go <laughs> vegan. <laughs> Use your words wisely, old man. These might be your last. Right. <sighs> Except for researching, developing, and administering a zombie virus. And then getting infected by it. So... And, on you. and you shake, you shook your cane at us once. That, that was, was rude. That was, that was so rude. <laughs> Did you just take a picture? <laughs> Click. <laughs> you're dead now. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, you're actually. Do you have to take the picture? Or? No, it, this is another cutscene thing. I don't know why I did it like this, but to really, really immerse the player. Apparently, I just look 100 percent through my camera now. <laughs> It's like the last part of that Doom movie. <laughs> oh. Zoom, zoom. Yep. Those damn mosquitoes. So wait, the wasps are bad, but the bees are the anti-bad? No, the wasps are the wasps. So the bees in the... the... The bee that I have in the jar is a wasp. So then why does it kill the zombies if it's the infector? Because it's the queen. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And so when it dies, all the things connected to it die. Oh. Oh, oh man. Boom, headshot. <laughs> 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 Great job. Damn, Brad. <clears throat> it's badass. Right? Excellent. Well, the terrorism is retaliation for a cruel government cover up. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Sounds plausible. 
Yeah. Or it could be some serious bullshit. <laughs> oh. We have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. <laughs> I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. If she's awake, she can tell you if she's been bitten. <laughs> no, pe people don't tell you when they're bitten in zombie movies. It's true. Think, man, think! <sighs> so we need to get out of here. I mean, that was my plan, but... <laughs> that does not look consoling in any way. Grab a face. Grab a smush face. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Woo! All right, woo! Another case down. That's two in. Two in a couple sessions. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not bad. We're, we're getting we're getting through the story. Moving it pretty clear. Excellent. Yep. So next time on Couch Defense Force, we're gonna look at uh, case seven one. Seven one. That's right. Starts at eleven a.m. Oh man, I hardly ever get up before noon. Oh yeah, well I've been awake this whole time apparently. <gasps> yes, but next time. Oh gosh, defense force. <laughs> how do I how do I save recordings again?